what up what up youtube goers welcome to another awesome figure review on toys collectibles channel figure review starting with the hasbro collectibles star wars black series wave three stormtroopers nah i'm just playing <laughs> i wish they were because i'll be having a couple of those and i'll be getting my hands on them like in a heartbeat but anyways now we're starting with the star wars two pack Artifacts collectible stormtroopers. Um, these are actually figures, but these are figures you actually put together So you guys probably may have heard of them. This is my first time collecting something like this and um, Like I said, it's very awesome figures and um, very hard to put together actually for the first time But I'm gonna show you the accessories they come with So before we start on the figures It gives you a manual about the figures it tells you how to put them together and shows you how you could um display them and shows you the body parts they all um, come with and then right here shows you the pictures of the stormtroopers of different poses you could put them in or action pose it all depends how you want to display them on your shelf with all your other collectibles that's really awesome and really cool and as you can see right there on the top star wars stormtrooper two pack really cool and then this is the stuff it comes with. It comes with the changeable arms, changeable legs for both of the stormtroopers. So that's really cool. And so like right here shows you right here. That's how all these little pieces come in little plastic bags. I actually didn't like do the box away. So uh, I guess I'm going to probably keep them in there like this or just take them all out and put them in a little Ziploc bag. I don't know. We'll see. And as you can see right here, they all come in a little bag right here so you can switch out the arms or legs but for record they really are hard to put on and they're really hard to take off so you gotta be very gentle with these figures and be very careful because they could break very easy it all depends how you treat them and all depends how you put them in and how you stuff them in so you gotta be really careful so those are the stuff they come with and then moving on with the two stormtroopers wow i gotta admit these are very awesome figures it's like wow i was so excited when i got these and it was just like wow i mean it's like the detailing on this stormtrooper is really badass really bad on i love it i love the detailing i love the sculpting of the figure wow artifacts collectibles is wow really awesome man they do some awesome jobs on figures i saw some other star wars figures and I was just like, wow. And I saw the Darth Vader one. I was like, oh, that one's badass. I got to get it, hopefully. But um, I love how they did his rifle gun. Really nice. His blaster gun. I mean, not rifle gun, but um, his pistol blaster gun. Really detailing. I love the blackish on there. I love the design, the sculpting on the gun. It's really nice. Really detailed. And, you know, that's really cool i think it's really awesome i think this is worth it i mean if you guys are star wars fans i'm just gonna tell you this right now i was if i was you guys i would highly recommend this figure i highly recommend you guys go pick this one up it's really cool it's so detailing it's just i'm speechless what to say about these two guys it's just like wow i'm a big stormtrooper fan and you know it's really cool for your collection so you know Anyways, back to the figure, but like, I love the armor. I mean, I love how the light reflects off the shiny white armor. Really cool. Look how so detailed this thing is. Wow. Just from top to bottom, man. I mean, I feel like these figures are getting more better and better. And every day, I remember back in the late 90s and, you know, 90s and 80s, man. I Figures weren't that good back in the day, but now this is like so cool. But I'm a 90s baby, so, you know. It's really cool, man. I mean, look at the detailing on the, the blaster um, glove holder where he puts his blaster. Look, I mean, look at the leather. I love the detail, de detailing on it. It looks like it's real leather, but really it's just hard plastic. And that's just really cool. It's just, wow. But this part right here does not open. So, I mean, I'm just saying if you guys do think about getting this, do not mess with this because it does not open. The blaster gun does not come out of his hands. It's stuck into his hands. But it really sucks you can't put the blaster gun in there without him holding the gun. That would be really cool. But I try to open it, but as you can see, it looks like it doesn't open. 
So, you know, just be careful not, you know, messing with it. I'm just telling you guys now. And besides, I think it's not meant to be open because there's not like deep hole under there to like put the blaster gun into the gun pouch. So, yeah, but this is a really awesome figure. I mean, I love detailing. It's just wow. But this figure does not have no joints, doesn't have no ab crunch, elbows, or knee joints at all. The only thing it has is a oh, head swivel. So the head does turn right to left. So that really sucks. But the um, accessories, they also come with, they come with um, two nice black bases. And that's really nice. And it's really actually awesome. I mean, it really looks really nice. Just a plain, simple base. But it's a really nice, dark soft hard material of the base and it's really cool and as you can see you got the logo brand on there Lucasfilm 2013 oh wow these were actually made in 2013 that was last year <laughs> but um and then on the bottom of the feet has magnets so you don't have to worry about like when you put it on there it won't fall or you know slip off and then you just go right down to the base like this just go in, bam, like that. I'll show you guys again. Falls right perfect in the middle of the place as you want it. And it's really cool, really detailed. And now on the other second Stormtrooper that comes with it. Oops, almost fell. Same thing with this one. It looks like they both have the same helmets. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they got two different helmets. Maybe. But um, anyways, yeah, back to this one. This one's also cool, too. I mean, they got the same helmets, but if you kind of look at it carefully, they both got different mouthpieces, I believe. But on better yet, no. Really, it's like that. Yes. Yeah, it's really hard to say. Cause they both look the same but anyways back to this one yeah the armor is just really cool it's really badass wow and look at this guy's blaster rifle gun it's wow so detailed it's so awesome man i'm just so proud man i feel like a fat little kid that this guy can be man this figure's so cool like look at the blaster gun it's like he's already about to shoot someone man so this one was actually harder for me to put together because like i was saying the putting the legs and arms in and you gotta like i said be really careful and the hardest part was putting the legs in so as you can see the detailing on there and the same thing as for the second star trooper he has magnet feet so you could just put him right onto the black black um, platform as you want and then like right here he does have the gun pouch same thing you can't open it or put nothing in there really sucks though you know it's like if he's holding this i'll be cool if he was holding his backup gun and then it's like so detailed. This figure is just so awesome. And same thing, you just put him on his platform. Falls right there. And um, he does have a little scratch on his helmet on the side. But you can't really see or tell. Well, actually, it's right here. So, you know, that's kind of a bummer. But at the same time, it's still a good figure. So this is a model kit. So, you know, it's really cool. Yeah, so as you can see on the side, that's a little scratch. But, you know, some figures are going to have those scratches. But you got to deal with it. But, yeah, guys, that's um my figure review, man. I mean, these figures, I'll probably give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, if you guys are big Star Wars fans, go pick yourself up one. Because these are worth it. And it will make you happy. And it will be good for your collection. I highly recommend these. 10 out of 10 for these bad boys. And, you know, wow. These just look like the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series 6 inches wave three figures to be honest with you shoot i don't even have to wait for those because i got these <laughs> but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the figures please stay tuned for the next video coming up soon and my rating for these figures like i said 10 out of 10 nothing else to say about it and you know yeah but anyways subscribe to my channel check out my other videos and please be part of my fan page on facebook at toys collectibles channel by in the search engine type in toys collectibles channel press like and share my page with others and yeah but anyways guys i will see you guys on the next video peace